is our finest hour. Cybertron is nearly ours, and victory is finally within the Decepticon's grasp. I think I need to see a doctor. Because, I mean, I, I was actually excited about this game. I thought, oh, f yeah, new Transformers game. Hope it's like the one that just came out. See, in my old-ass mind, the one that just came out is Fall of Cybertron, a game I genuinely liked, and a game that's already two years old. Come on, I just played that game. How is that possible? Hey, speaking of things we can't explain, how'd the Transformers games go from holy f balls, this is awesome, to holy f balls, what happened in the span of just 24 months? Come on, video games. Get it together. It's Transformers, Rise of the Dark Spark. What the hell's going on here? Well, I'll tell you what's going on here. What we have here is a new developer trying to match another developer's work with what seems to be a fraction of the budget, because it seems like someone else is trying to save money, which is fine, but what you get as a result is this. It's the formula of the really good Transformers games from a few years ago, only it's not as really good. In fact, it's really crappy, which is really crappy. Fall of Cybertron was awesome! The Rise of the Dark Spark, on the other hand, is most assuredly not awesome. Frankly, it's a combination of things. This is a disappointment combo meal. You got bad design, bad execution coming together for a buggy, disappointing mess. And, and supersize the bugs, too. Enemies stuck in walls? Oh, we got lots of those. You, you want dipping sauce, too? Hey, you want the game to freeze up? We can do that, too. We got all kinds of bugs. I just want to know if that's the end of our bug problem. So the game switches back and forth between Autobots missions and Decepticons missions, which sounds pretty awesome, until you realize there's no continuity whatsoever. Like, the cuts don't match, they don't make sense. And then the Decepticons side is just dropped right in the middle of the game, because why not? I mean, when your whole gimmick is seeing what happens on both sides, I mean, who, need, who needs resolution? What is this, New Year's? No, no it's not. And it's not Fall of Cybertron either! How is that game two years old? It makes less sense to me than this game. Well, fortunately, the gameplay is at least vaguely reminiscent of better games. It's like if those good Transformers games were released, like, halfway into development. That's what this feels like. It's just not a very well-made game. It could use a lot more polish. Which is weird, because that's what the good games did well. They had crazy production value. This is just crazy. The graphics are blurry and pixelated. All the environments look the same. The frame rate's atrocious. And again, I, I came across a noticeable amount of bugs and glitches, too. But you know, even so, deep inside this piece of shit, there lies the core of a fun game, refusing to be denied. Because there are moments when I had fun with this game. In spite of this game, the gameplay is generally decent, and there are some great weapons, like the slime cannon and this electric beam that shocks multiple enemies. There are moments of fun here, for sure. But you really have to ignore all the crap you had to dig through to get to it. And I mean, look, I'm actually kind of shocked. Because I remember Fall of Cybertron like it was yesterday. And that game's crazy polished. And the presentation, the level design, it was all awesome. This is like... It's like the dollar store knockoff. Hey, speaking of knockoffs, that's basically what the Wii U version is. Oh, you're gonna love this, Nintendo fans. See, the game's strongest feature is its online multiplayer, and of course, it's not even in the Wii U version. No multiplayer whatsoever, and a game that's only real strength is multiplayer. And hey, hope you don't expect any cool Wii U features as a replacement, because the game doesn't even use the gamepad for anything. Maybe, maybe the developers put their coffee on it. We'll never know for sure. Well, this is a bad game. It's even worse on Wii U. Now, look, I'm not saying it's a well-designed game, but most of its problems deal with execution. It's a, this is a shit show of epic proportions, which actually kind of fits with all the grandiose explosions and dramatic music. It's like, in a world where Transformers games were good only 24 months ago, something's gone wrong. Actually, if you want a new Transformers game, check out our review of the 3DS version. Seriously, that one's actually good. Or, you know, just take the Derek approach and consider things that came out two years ago to still be new and buy, just go buy Fall of Cybertron. That game was awesome. This, ugh, this Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark for the Nintendo Wii U. 24 months later. By the Allspark. Look at the size of them. 
Hold your fire, Starscream! That is no way to welcome our new recruits. Re <laughs> recruits? Oh, uh, yes. Welcome aboard. <laughs>